Hey, what's going on guys? Jag and Tech here and welcome back to another customization video. Now, looking back, I noticed that I never really got into the woods of third party launchers. And the reason behind that is because I never really found them that easy to use. I mean, don't get me wrong, if you really take your time with them, they're all totally worth it. I've done it all before. All the customizations, all the settings and features are awesome. But personally, I just prefer to rock this stock launcher with all my Android phones. Although, just a couple weeks ago, I found out about this really cool app that I just think is pretty unique, and I've never seen anything like it before in the Play Store. And I wanted to share it with you guys. This app is called Winify. So as you saw from the thumbnail, this app basically makes your smartphone look like it was pulled out of a Windows PC. With the help of any third-party launcher and KWGT, you'd be able to transform your Android setup to something very different. If you happen to be a big fan of the Windows UI, or you just want to have this experience, then this has to go on your list. Winify is actually still pretty new. It has around 27 different widgets that can help you navigate through your phone a little bit better. It has great shortcuts to popular apps, music controls, a detailed overview of your weather, a full-size calendar, and a personalized widget for all your favorite apps. And everything is available in dark mode, which is a great bonus. As you can see, most of them have the classic exit, minimize, and maximize buttons on the upper right. The execution here is just on point, and it doesn't cut down on pixel density either. So you'd be getting crystal clear widgets from this app. And you'll also be getting 45 different wallpapers to, of course, complete that Windows experience. Now, if you look into the description, Winify actually just launched on April 9, 2021. So this is very new. And after using it for a while, it's honestly been really great, surprisingly. At first, I thought I wouldn't like it because of the sharp edges of the widgets. I personally just like rounded edges more when it comes to these things. But over time, I actually really like the look of this. Also, there could have been some serious bugs in the app, but surprisingly, it was a good experience. Especially if you mix it up with the perfect icon pack and the right wallpaper, it turns into something really nice. All the controls are responsive, all the preset apps and shortcuts are already mapped, so you don't have to worry too much about changing the settings in KWGT. Everything just works very well. Although, I do notice that the album art in the music widget occasionally doesn't show up when you play a song from a different artist or playlist, but most of the time, it is there. It does show up. I discovered that in order to make it appear, all you have to do is just skip to the next song. I also wish there were more options, especially for the clock, weather, and calendar, or maybe like an all-in-one where you can see your time, date, and weather in a single widget. That'd be really great. But again, it's still new, so hopefully the people behind us can slowly start to add a little bit more in their following updates. Now, there might be a few things that you would want to customize on your own using KWGT. And this is pretty normal for almost all the widget apps, so this isn't that big of a deal. An example of this is setting up your weather location, mapping the controls to your apps, or choosing an icon photo. Let's take this widget for example. Let's try to put in a new location. So go ahead to the KWGT app and look for the widget that you want to customize. Once you see it, tap on the edit icon and now we're in. Next step, you're going to want to tap on the hamburger menu and go to settings. Tap on location and just choose any of these to set your location. So go ahead and search for your preferred city. Let's say we're going for Toronto, Canada. Just wait for the results and tap on the city. Next, go back to the widget editor and tap on layer. Down here, you can set the location. Tap on alternate location two, since that is what we set earlier. And there we go, you're all good. Just go ahead and save the changes. And now we have an updated weather widget. For a personalized icon photo on this widget, again, just go to KWGT and look for the one that we want to edit. So tap on the edit icon and go to overlap group. And just scroll down until you see profile picture and tap there. Next, go to fix and tap on pick image down here. So just go through your gallery and choose literally any photo that you want and there we go. Again, just save the changes and now we have a new icon photo. Now I'm sure for those who are used to KWGT, changing these elements will be a breeze. But if you're new here and this finally convinced you to get KWGT and you have some questions, just drop a comment below and I'll do my best to answer every single one of them. Okay, so before you head on to the Play Store to check it out, there are a few things you have to secure before you get this running. This will work with both stock and third-party launchers but it's highly recommended that you do use it with a third-party launcher so that you don't get any problems with optimization and reliability. Now, as I mentioned earlier, you will have to get KWGT along with its pro version, which costs around $5.99 in the Play Store. And of course, the Winify app, which costs $1. But wait, 
I know it may cost a lot for some of you, so that's why I'll be giving away 35 promo codes so you can get Winify absolutely for free. So that already takes off a dollar from your entire purchase. Now, if you want to get a hold of your own promo code, all you need to do is just leave a thumbs up on the video and drop your Twitter or Instagram username in the comments below. And I'll be the one to personally send them out to the lucky 35. And if I heart your comment, that means you're one of the lucky people who got in. So go ahead and drop that comment before the codes run out and make sure to use them right away because these will only be valid until May 23. I'll also be updating everyone on Twitter and Instagram, so consider following me there so you won't miss out on anything. Anyway, hope you guys liked the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We're so close to 2,000 subscribers, and it'll mean the world to me if you get there. It'll be awesome. And I'll see you guys in the next one.